All right, hi everybody. So now that I'm done with my Satomer on civil disobedience, and once again, we'll use the Satomer on China that I wrote for geography, but it works. So I'm done with my Satomer, and let's say my partners are also done with their Satomer. We've peer edited, we've talked about it, we're good. Here's the next thing we need to do, okay? The next thing we need to do is go to our project packet online. I need to go down here to where it says influence. Because remember, I have to write how my project or my, my person or my event or my thing has significance on civil disobedience. Okay? So if I'm doing Martin Luther King, if I'm doing Martin Luther King, I need to talk about how Martin Luther King was very significant uh, with civil disobedience and what it looks like today because of him. Or even if Martin Luther King had never existed, how might the civil rights with civil disobedience, or if they would have had civil disobedience, would have happened? If I am doing the uh, sit-ins, what influence did the sit-ins have on civil disobedience? Did other people see this and then reflect that maybe the African-Americans were being treated differently? So now that I'm thinking about that, you're going to go down here. You're actually going to start writing. And here it says, explain why your person was influential on civil disobedience. Why was this influential? Well, from a personal point, write it out. This, these are your words. You're not looking it up anymore. You've already written your Satomer. You've already done all of your notes. Now you are actually going to start writing. And I would write Martin Luther King Jr. And of course, I'm going to keep writing about how Martin Luther King was very significant to the cause of civil disobedience. Okay. Or the bus boycott or the Constitution, any of those things that gave us our freedoms and what that means and how it influences us today. Okay, now I've written that. Everybody needs to write that. Everybody in your group or if you're by yourself, everybody needs to write their significance piece here. Okay, now that your Satomer is done, now that your significant piece is done, now we need to build our project. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a bunch of Google Slides because I'm going to start putting stuff in. Now remember, this first slide is going to be my title slide. And I got to have my name and my partner's names and everything on here and pictures that go with it. So like I showed you before, if I'm doing China, and I'll go down here and open up the China project packet, which I have right, keep passing it right here. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna put China the title slide, which is right here. I'm gonna put the title slide, which is right here. I'm gonna put China or Martin Luther King or the Washington uh, March on Washington. And I'm gonna put my name and my partner's name's here, or just my name from by myself, and pictures that go along with it, okay? So that's right here. The next is the thesis slide. And your question is probably, well, whose thesis? If I'm working with two partners and there's three of us, whose thesis are we using? Pick one of them. Maybe we pick my thesis, or maybe we pick uh, Miss Art's thesis, or maybe we pick Mr. Louis' thesis if the three of us are together, okay? Because your theses should be general enough to meet the needs of your subclaims. Okay, so we've picked the thesis and we've picked picture, pictures to go with it. Now comes the interesting part. I'm going to go up here and let's say we picked this thesis. Great. Now, I'm going to use just my red subclaim. Hey, Miss Arts and Mr. Louie, the first subclaim is mine. I'm going to use this. And I am going to go and put it right here. And I'm going to put pictures to go along with it. So when I get up in front of the class and say, the Chinese live in many places all over China, but the majority of the population live on the eastern coast. 
I'm going to have pictures and have to explain these pictures. But people are going to say to me, why do people live on the East Coast? The audience is going to say to me how they live there. Apartments, cities, what is it? Okay, what is it they do there would be another question they might ask. And I better be able to explain through trade, major cities, outlets and economy that they live there. That's my job. I'm not posting my Satomer. I'm putting just this subclaim. Okay, I've answered the questions. Everybody seems happy. Now I'm going to hand over to Miss Arts. Miss Arts is going to put her purple second subclaim from her thesis up here. Part of the geography of China has been manipulated into a dam in the middle of the country. Then she has to put a couple pictures, and she has to explain the pictures. Then the hands go up. Uh, what kind of dam is it? How big is this dam? Why do they need it? How did they build it? She needs to explain all of that. After she's answered all the questions and everybody seems happy, now it's Mr. Louie's turn. He's going to use his orange. And he's going to plug his orange here for the third subclaim. Geography of China is varied in many ways because of its natural borders that keep China safe. Pictures he has to explain. And then the questions. What kind of borders? What kind of natural things? How does it keep China safe from others? He needs to explain this because he has it in his subclaim statement. Then the conclusion, we can write this together or we can use one of ours. Maybe we use mine. Maybe we use Miss Arts. Maybe we use Mr. Louis. Or maybe we write one together. It's up to you. And notice there are still pictures here, pictures that go along with the conclusion. And last but not least, the influence slide. That's this thing that I wrote, that I wrote right here. I wrote Martin Luther King Jr.'s influence. I'm making it a slide and putting it my name, Kurt Morris. So obviously this is China. Here's the influence in my own words. Here's a picture to go along with it. You must have an influence slide. If I'm with Miss Arts, the next slide would be her influence slide. If I'm with Miss Arts and Mr. Louie, the next slide after hers would be Mr. Louie's influence slide. All in your own words. Don't worry about getting it right or wrong. This is your opinion. And your opinion is your opinion. As long as you have the evidence to back it up, we will not ask you questions about your influence. This is your statement. And we won't ask you questions about that, but you need it. Okay? So this whole project, if I have two partners with me, this is going to be a nine slide project. If I'm working with a partner, this is going to be an eight slide project because of my influence and Miss Art's influence slide. If I'm by myself, it's a seven slide project because it's just one influence slide. Okay. If I'm by myself, everything you see here is completely from me. Let's say there's just two of you doing it. Well, there's just two of you doing it. Then you guys would make the China, you know, <laughs> the title slide together. Once again, maybe I say, hey, Miss Arts, so it's just the two of us. And we're doing four slides or eight slides together. Why don't we use my thesis and why don't we do subclaim one as mine? You do the next two subclaims and we write the conclusion together and then we do our own influence slides. You can divide it up any way you want. If you're by yourself, you're doing the whole thing by yourself. Okay? This is what you're going to be doing when you make your project. Now, Friday is going to be an asynchronous learning time. You can get with a friend and you can email them or call them or FaceTime them, who's ever your partner, if you're working with partners, and you guys can do this then. Okay? You'll have a little bit of time on Tuesday when we come back, but not a lot. But you better make sure that your project is ready to go because Wednesday we're presenting. All right. If you have any questions, let us know. Bye.